serious what are some cryptid slash ghost slash unexplained stories you'd be willing to share? When I was 7 years old, my grandma was in the hospital dying. At the time my family was strapped for cash and my mom was pregnant. So only my dad went to California, where she lived, to see her before she died. The day that she died, we got a phone call from her with her wanting to talk to each of us saying how much she loved us. A few hours later, we got a call from family members saying that she had passed away. When we told them that we had just received a call from her a few hours prior, everybody was in disbelief, saying that she had been laying unconscious in the hospital bed all day and she could have never called, yet alone been able to articulate her thoughts to us. To this day we have no idea how she called us, and I don't think we ever will. This is so nice. I wonder if ghost calls work as well on cell phones as they do landlines. My aunt got a text from my grandpa that didn't even have a phone about 12 hours before he died. He had dementia and wouldn't even have been able to know who she was, but she still had gotten the text from him. So I would assume that the ghost calls can happen on the modern day phones. What number was it from? How did she know it was from him? It was through Facebook, and he had a Facebook account, so it wasn't a text, but it was just easier to word it that way. Do UFO stories count? Fayette County, TN. I can't remember exactly when, but it was after Cobain died, and before I changed schools. So either spring of 94, or during the 94 to 95 school year, a yellow orange, football shaped UFO was over a field across the road from my house. I watched it from my bedroom window while on the phone with a buddy. He used his mom's line, pre-cell phone days lol, to call the local little airport. But they said there were no helicopters or anything weird on radar. After a while, it headed east towards Somerville and I couldn't see it anymore. The next day at school, a bunch of other kids had either seen it or their uncle did. Or whoever. Seriously. I would love it if anyone from that area remembers this. I'm just going to assume that you remember all of your life events in the context of before slash after Cobain died. One afternoon I was at work. I walked past a room with a window in the door and automatically glanced in the window. There was a woman standing in the room. Except there are only three people in the building and the other two were in the office behind me. I took a couple steps, realized what I had just seen and backed up quickly, but by the time I got back to the window the room was empty. There was only one door, and when I opened it the room was empty. At the same building, a coworker was telling me that she was in the office right around the corner from that same room. She couldn't see the door, but she could see the shadow of the door on the floor as it slowly opened and closed. She was the only one in the building at the time and she refused to check. I arrived about an hour later, and she asked me to check the door, and it was still locked. I worked there about 3 years, and every single one of us had stories. We heard voices in empty rooms. Once we were sitting in the office, and we heard somebody breathing in an empty corner. It was common to be in one of the rooms, and think somebody had just walked into the room. Only to look up, and find that the room was empty except for you. I had one manager who scoffed at all of our stories. She did not believe us when we told her there was something fairly benign but creepy in the building. We were sitting in the office. She scoffed and loudly said, if there's anything in here prove it. We all held our breath. Kind of nervous. A bit scared but also curious. And just about the time my manager was getting that luck on her face that said ha told you so something was thrown out in the hallway. It took her several minutes to work up the courage before going to check and finding that a book that normally sat on a bookshelf near the front door had somehow gone from that bookshelf around the corner and halfway down the hallway. The manager never talked about it and quit shortly after that. I've since quit also, but last I heard they were still hearing voices and seeing shadows in the building. That must really suck for that ghost. Imagine spending eternity at work. Okay that made me laugh. It was a preschool, so I hope they like kids. Me too. Otherwise I think you've caught a glimpse of hell. I got home from school one day and decided to play a game on my computer. Turning into mission in the game. I would talk in a group chat with a couple of my friends. We were telling jokes and making each other laugh until I needed to use the restroom. I told them I would be right back and left my phone on the desk and didn't turn it off. 
When I returned, I noticed that some of the letters were being pressed, even though no one was in the room with me. It wasn't a word that was typed, but random letters with the backquote app backquote symbol spacing them out. To me, it didn't mean anything, so I asked my friends if they thought it meant something. But they were startled by it and didn't know what it meant either. I thought it was strange, but decided to ignore it. Later that night, when I decided to go to bed, I turned off my lamp and got under the sheets. My cat, Portia, was by me sound asleep. A few moments later, I heard what sounded like footsteps slowly creepy through the hallway to my bedroom. Suddenly, they stopped right outside my doorway. I glanced up and expected to see my brother, but no one was in sight. From her dead sleep, Portia bolted up stood at the end of my bed and stared into the hallway. I was confused since she had never done that before. I tried to get her back to her normal spot on my bed, but she wouldn't budge. I even put my hand in front of her face, but she kept trying to peer over it. She eventually sat back down and went to bed. Since then, I haven't had any other experiences like that and I still wonder if there was something trying to contact me that night. I grew up in an old house and my family definitely experienced events that were hard to explain. Besides all the usual noises and occasionally hearing your name being spoken. Here's the top 2 weirdest things. 1. My brother and I were teens. Eating dinner in the kitchen. There was a glass of water on the counter. We heard a noise where the glass was and both looked toward it and we swore we saw it move an inch. As we were still looking and discussing it. The glass flew several feet across the counter and smashed onto the floor. 2. Once when I was in college and I was home for holidays. I was in the kitchen getting food prepared. I was home alone at that point and my brother was due home at any moment. I heard the front door open and close. I called out hello to my brother and heard nothing back. Then I saw a shadow pass by the kitchen into the hallway and I assumed my brother was being rude so I followed and kept calling hello. I saw the shadow again turning another corner toward my brother's bedroom. I saw my brother's door closing. At this point I was calling out about what a jerk he was because we hadn't seen each other in months. I pushed the bedroom door open and uttered some insults, haha, <laughs> and the room. As well as the whole house was empty. That was super chilling. I really had seen someone moving through the house. Flash forward 15 years later, and when my husband and I bought an oldish house, built in 1870, I was up in the third floor arranging boxes, and I heard a very clear and very polite women's voice say, well, hello there, never saw or heard anything in this house since. I heard a very clear and very polite women's voice say, well, hello there, wholesome ghost is happy to have company, you spelled Kenobi wrong, ah yes, a man of culture. It's quite short. I chose a stall next to a stall that was used by someone with brown leather shoes. I had no toilet paper so after some time I asked the guy next to me if he can send me a few. He moved his foot and handed it. His hand looked weirdly pale blue and was cold to the touch. I took the tissues and finished up and left the stall quickly. I was shocked to see that the stall next to me was empty. All that was there was a pair of brown leather shoes. I swear I have no explanation. I still think it was just a prank or something, but I just don't know how. Polite ghost helped you during a bathroom crisis. I shared this on reddit a couple of times. I'll make it short this time. Six or so years ago weirdness started happening in my mother's apartment. I lived there alone. She was lived with her bf, but kept the apartment anyway. The door to my bedroom would open or close on its own. At some point in the night, it would close or open at random intervals. With the door handle moving and all that. And not like slowly. Sometimes it would full on slam shut or open. I tried everything. Closing all the windows to see if maybe it was the wind. Nope. Seeing if there was anyone else in the room. Never found anybody. Plus the room on the other side was empty except for a wardrobe. Hell. It even happened more than a few times in front of a friend. The friend in question also told me my lamp started to switch on and off when I was sleeping. Not like in the movies where the lamp malfunctions. She said it was like it was turning on. Then off. Then on. Etc. Toward the end of this. The sofa that was right beside the door moved by itself while I was on it. 
In the middle of the night, while I was on Skype on camera, the door kept opening and closing a few times a night for a few days then it stopped. Also I kept having sleep paralysis with visual and auditory hallucination at the time lol. I honestly could have thought I was simply going crazy. But I had eyewitnesses. Never understood what happened this week. Never happened again. Maybe a poltergeist needed a place to crash? Scare BNB. This would be a killer business idea. Prices slashed. There was a really weird occurrence at my dad's house a few years ago. He awoke to the sound of dogs barking and realized the neighborhood dogs were barking at something that was moving parallel to the road. When his own started to bark he went outside to see what was up. Across the street is pretty much all forest except a church directly across the street that at the time was just a gravel lot. My dad was too far away to see anything but in the dead of night. He could definitely hear the sound of someone running at full tilt across the gravel. A few things freaked him out from this. 1. Whatever it was definitely ran on two feet. Try having a dog run on gravel vs a human. And you can tell the difference. And it was big. Both myself and he have witnessed large animals like bears and moose running through the underbrush. And according to him. It sounded like it was of a similar size to those creatures. 2. It was easily running somewhere around 40 to 50 miles per hour in the clearing of the lot then slowed down again as it went back into the woods. He was able to compare the speed, because the road itself is 45 miles per hour limit, so it was going just as fast as a passing car. 3. The final thing. Its huffing and gasping was so loud he could hear it from his front door and was obviously not human. We looked online later to compare its sound to other animals and it really didn't sound like anything he'd ever heard before. The freakiest part was the almost synchronous reactions the dogs had. He's never heard dogs react like that before. Both him, my stepmom, my stepbrother, and several of our neighbors all can account for hearing the strange barking from the dogs, but it was only my dad who heard what they were after. Nothing happened like that since, and I've never personally witnessed anything like it. We do like right on the border of the Cascade Mountain range, and are surrounded by park and federal land, if you want to get an idea of where this took place. Based on speed, 2 feet and the absence of location my conclusion is, depending on location, an ostrich, although that's a stretch. Damn you got it right. Wait you know the answer? He probably checked the sounds, 